hello. Today we're going to work on Unit 4 Review, Day 2. Monday, May 25th. Example 1. Use the guess method to rearrange each formula to isolate the indicated variable. Isolate means solve. Okay, solve for the indicated variable. Okay. All right. C equals pi d. Pi d is held together with multiplication. All right. All right. So g u e s s. Okay. So what's been given? We've been given c equals pi. So a scrolly top and then two sticks there is for the pi value. We know that that's 3.14, but we don't evaluate it with a number. We just keep it as a, a, a variable letter, okay? D. We might want to put a times there to show us that that's the operation holding them together. Okay, so the u, the unknown, it says rearrange to isolate. So both the word rearrange is a verb but so is isolate. And together, they mean solve for the indicated variable. So G, U, U, the unknown, is to rearrange uh, the formula. Okay. To isolate Now it says the indicated variable. That is the indicated variable, okay? So the indicated variable, okay? So to isolate pi, right? Now the equation to rearrange, put E at the end of arrange, okay? So to rearrange a formula, we solve, okay, solve using SAMDEB and opposite operations. I think when I give you this, I'll give you a little bit more room here. Okay, so S is the solution. So we take the E, the U, the G, the equation, the unknown, and the given, and we start with the given. So C equals pi times D, put a pi, uh, multiplication sign there. Uh, we we'll use SAMDEV. And we want to isolate for pi. Okay, so pi is here, right? So if pi is already on the right side, we say pi on right side. Okay, put that in a bubble. Okay, to the left of the equal sign, it's no pi on left side. Put that in a bubble. Okay, so between the pi and the d there's multiplication. So next to the m for multiplication, we say we're multiplying the pi by the d. Okay, so we're multiplying by d. The opposite is dividing by d. Okay, so we divide once on the left side by d, once on the right side by d. So we get C divided by D. You cannot do anything with this. You just can rewrite it. 
The reason is because C and D are different letters, right? So C divided by D is equal to these D's, they are identical. They cancel each other out, okay? And all we have left with is pi. Well, we have now, if we look at this, separate it maybe with an arrow to help us, okay? Pi is on its own side. So we can say the solution, therefore, and we can, if we want, we can write it exactly the way it's written. C over D is equal to pi, or we can write pi, switch the pi to the one side and the C over D to the other, okay? Pi equals C over D has been rearranged to isolate pi, right? Now if you say, I don't really understand that, right? If you don't understand that, then you can just leave the answer as pi equals c over d, okay? All right, let's try the next one. G-U-E-S-S. -S. So we've been given y equals mx plus b, u, this is rearrange, rearrange, each formula, well now it's the formula, to solve for, okay, so actually it doesn't say solve, so let's use the word that it says, to isolate, to isolate, isolate for the indicated variable. This here, the x, is the indicated variable. Alright, so we're going to isolate x. Alright, e. To rearrange A formula, we solve using SAMDEV and opposite operations. Okay, so we take the equation unknown and the given. Start with the given. y equals mx plus b. If you say, I think we've done this kind of question before, you would be right. Okay? So, because we're doing review, right? So this is familiar to you. Okay, so rearrange the formula to isolate for x. Now x is here. We need to remember that mx is being multiplied to each other. Okay, that's very important. All right, so then to the left and to the right of the equal sign, we put our arrows, okay? If x is what we're isolating, which is what we are, we will leave x where it is. So x on right side. Put that in a bubble. To the left, no x on left side. Okay, use SAMDEV. Now we definitely need more room here. Okay, so right now we are adding B. Okay, so it needs to follow the rule X is on the right side. Well, B is not an X. So next to the A for add, we write the plus B and we do opposite, subtract B. So we subtract B on the right side, but we also have to subtract B on the left side. Okay, now y minus b has to get rewritten exactly like it is because the b and the y are unlike terms. Okay, so we write y minus b equals mx, this plus balloon, one balloon, minus one balloon, they cancel each other out. mx is the only thing that's left. Okay, now mx.
x is not exactly just x. Okay, so see how it says x on right side. So the m has to be moved, but we can only move it by doing what's opposite of multiplication. So next to the m for multiplication, okay, is what we do is the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing by m. So we divide by m on the left side and divide by m on the right. Now the m divides the y, but it also divides the b. Now if you want to, you can write it separately. Okay? Okay, so you want to write y divided by m minus b divided by m. These m's cancel each other out, so it leaves you with x. So we have this as the equation. Okay? So then the s, maybe a little bit further down. Therefore, and if we're going to write for isolating x, we'd like to write it as um, x equals, right? So the x goes in front, okay? So the x goes in front of the equal sign, and all this just goes back. It's just like you switching places with somebody in line, okay? You go in front, or they do, and the other person goes behind, right? So therefore, x is equal to y over m minus b over x, okay, has been rearranged. Okay, okay, to isolate, to isolate x. So you can still see that. All right. Example two. Use the simple interest formula, I equals PRT, to find the length of time 4,500 would have to be invested at 0.3% to earn $72.90. Okay, what's been given? We've been given I equals P. R T. Now we might not remember there's multiplication in between all of these letters, okay? We also need to know that P P is principal. So the dollars that have been invested. Okay, I'm gonna write it as a list here. R is the rate, which is a percent divided by 100%, and T is equal to time in years. Now, I've run out of room here, so I'm going to write I way up here. Okay, I is the interest, which is the dollars you've earned, okay? So yes, I is dollars and P is dollars, but the I is the dollars you've earned and P is the uh, dollars you've invested, okay? Now, writing this is important because it helps you understand more about what you've been given, okay? So it says you're going to find the length of time, okay? So you're gonna find the length of time, okay? So you are finding this. So we could actually write the unknown. Find the length the length of time. Okay? So you're finding the length of time. Now, this this here 4,500 would have to be invested, okay? So 4,500 would have to be invested, okay? So that means that the invested amount in dollars, okay, the invested amount in dollars is 4,500, okay? Because it uses the same words, 4,500 would have to be invested, okay? So that's your P value. Okay. All right. 
So there's the rate right there because it's a percent. So it's zero, zero point three percent. That's a bit tricky, okay? Because we have to divide that by we have to divide that by a hundred percent. So let's do that. Where's my calculator here? So when we divide, zero point zero three, no, that's not it. Zero point three divided by a hundred is equal to zero point zero zero three. Okay, so zero point zero zero three okay is our rate all right all right let's keep going to earn you are earning this amount okay so where is your earning interest earned so your earnings are seventy two dollars and ninety cents okay all right so you've already listed that you're going to find the length of time. There's the action word, okay, equation. Well, to, that's the time, okay? So to find time, T, which we don't know, we must solve for T using SAMDEV and opposite operations. Okay, so the solution is filled with the equation, the unknown, and the given. Okay, so let's start with the equation. I just might put these time signs all together in the equation because I've already understood that that's what they are doing is multiplying. I'm going to sub I equals I equals $72.90. Put a dollar sign there. P is 4,500. Rate is 0. Point zero zero three time is what we do not know okay so I've taken the I value the P value the R value and time is what we're finding okay so I'm subbing that in so I is replaced by seventy two dollars and ninety cents P is replaced by four thousand five hundred and put a times there the R is the 0 0.003 and the T is what I don't know. Now it's going to be easier to multiply the 4,500 times the 0 0.003 to get 13.5. So 72.90 is equal to 13.50 times the T. Okay, so I put those two together. Right? So I'm going to solve using SAMDEV. Okay, because it's bed mass, B E D M A S backwards, and time is what I'm trying to solve for. So here it's T on right side. no T on left side. You might want to give yourself more room there. Okay, so you want to give yourself more room. Okay, um, what else do you need? So, they are multiplying by T. So next to M for multiply, they're multiplying by 1350. So you want to do the opposite, which is divide by 1350. Okay? Divide once on the left by 1350. Divide once on the right by 1350. So $72.90 plus 
Okay, divide it by, uh, divide it by, when I say divide, that zero just drops out, the calculator does that. Okay, so if, I'll do it again, 72.90, divide, now it drops the zero out, 13.50 equals 5.4. Equals T. Okay, so the S, therefore, it takes 5.5 years to earn $72.90 when investing. Four thousand five hundred dollars at zero point three percent. Please make sure you email me if you have any questions.